I don't know how clear I am. Can you see me? Hi. It's Friday. It's December 1st. I'm going to try to do vlogmas because I've been very inconsistent with uploading lately because life has been lifing. But anyway, it's December 1st. It's Friday. I have the day off. But I am in the city. And I'm in the city because I want to go to the Book of Hove exhibit before it closes out on Monday, which is Jay-Z's birthday. So I'm going to go to that. You're going to go with me. And we'll see where else the day takes us. But I'm pretty sure that's all I'm doing today. Because I, I just want a nice, simple day. Check in with you guys when we get there. I've had my bacon, egg, and cheese. I just finished watching um, the first episode of the new season of Kanan. So now it's time to go to the library. Speak up, but I hop by the cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up. already but my battery is flashing but today was an amazing day i'm gonna make me some dinner which i will show you and that'll be it for today but tomorrow i will tell you guys all about the book of at the brooklyn public library i changed my mind i was going to cook dinner and then just tomorrow talk about the whole experience um but but I'm I'm too excited and I have different Jay Z songs playing in my head, um. So I just I don't even care about dinner right now. So let's just have a quick convo about what today was like. To so go to the library where it was the biggest library in Brooklyn. It's literally the Brooklyn Public Library, and to think of the park that it was near and you know the the soul circus would be in that park or it was like what felt like our own little central park in brooklyn but the public library was where you got all of your books during the summer where you would use a computer or learn to use a computer or school trips like all of the things because that one block was the brooklyn public library the um, Brooklyn Museum and the Botanical Gardens are literally all within minutes of each other and if you went to school in Brooklyn those three places were a signature trip okay but anyway Book of Hove um, I grew up near where that gentleman lived right so and I grew up listening to his music so to have that moment to walk in and the first thing you see is the podium where you know he's throwing up the rock sign and it's his hands that has been cemented forever and 
to see all of the screens of the concerts either that I went to like the Black Album and I went to the very last show in Madison Square Garden and the encore that we got for over an hour and then realizing that when the show was over majority of my classmates were in the same section of me and we all went to eat at the diner down the street a lot of memories come to mind and then to see you know his masters and to know that they're his and to see all of the awards that he has won throughout his career and the the it's some, you know how they say when you see somebody that's from where you're from and you you see them make it. There's a difference between, you know, watching them on TV, you know, and 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 to where he is now. Like, um, I made this comment to my boyfriend and a few other people, and I was like, it's so weird to see the picture of him in his hoopty and his flat top with the chains, and to see him now as this grown man who's a dad with an 11 year old daughter who he has to tell like, nah, I was, I'm cool. I was, I'm the man. Like, and to know that it's almost like we could tell her stories of what his music um, was and seeing him be who he was and where he was from and to where he's at now, like, The fact is that it was a way to see him get his flowers early. Like, there's not gonna be a loss of love. Like, there's no, there's no question that he is loved, right? Like, when I say that place was packed yesterday, he was a part of some school's curriculum, okay? There was a school, like, buses of kids there who were very well behaved I may say and you could see that the kids were of different grades and they were there listening and experiencing and reading and obviously taking pictures and videos and everything but at the same time like he's he was a part of their curriculum he he his career is an exhibit and this man is from Marcy. So go, well, he's, he's a rapper, but he's so much more than that. He was always so much more than that. And that exhibit, a thousand percent plus, proves that. Um, the 4040 Club, I remember being a kid going, I'm going to go there. And then, you know, um, the first bottles of Ace of Spades and, you know, Baseline Studios and the pictures and the videos from that time. You know, to choose to be an artist is a choice of following your passion and something you love, but it's also very much a business at the end of the day. The new season of Power Book 3 Kanan uh, also premiered, you know, and there's a little, little, I'm gonna use one line, I'm not giving anything away, but where there's a counselor talking to one of the characters in the book and they go that well they was like well what do you want to do and you know they go like what's your passion and she the, she says if, you know what i'm talking about juju so she goes music and her counselor goes um that's a hobby and i'm on my own ma'am I'm not gonna say the thoughts that I had. But you know, that's where your real love of your work comes from, that passion, right? So to see Sean or Jay-Z's exhibit where he's talking, where you can see how he took his passion for the industry and music and his life and how he took that very same passion and he created so much from it. Um, the work he's done with kids, the work he's done with his neighborhood, like, or even just to see the, uh, my brain is spacing on the word, but it's not prototype of the Barclays Center, but the, maybe it's, um, 
um but to see the work by the shop architects for the Barclay Center and you see like even the little detailing of the train station that's in front of the Barclay Center and then you think about this photo of um Jay-Z where he's standing <laughs> pretty sure he's standing on State State Street roof and you can see the Barclay Center and if anybody pays attention to Jay-Z and you know the significance of that address and then you also know the significance of what the Barclay Center is for him, to see to him on top of that roof and to see the bar him looking at the Barclay Center and then you go to this exhibit where you see where he started from the blueprint. You see the uh, Welcome to Marcy sign. Um, I do wish that I kind of went in the middle of the week and did that but the things that i read i almost want to go refine the book um the decoder book his book to see that you know the evolution of sean you know sean carter or s dot or jay-z or hove or this businessman you know if if you get how i said that you you that's anyway i'm referring to the music way too much but there's a reason why we always say representation matters there's a reason why exhibits like his and then down the block there's spike lee's exhibit which i think i'm going to figure out a way to get there too and there's a reason why all of these things matter. There's a reason why, you know, all of these things have meaning. It's why everybody's so sad. Like, you, you, you know, I've seen comments where people are like, yo, can you extend that beyond his birthday? And it's like, we all know the significance of his birthday and why it matters to him. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, um some of us haven't had the chance and i know it's going to be packed this weekend and i know on monday it's definitely it's going to be packed um but it was one hell of an experience it was one experience i will not forget this hits for me just as much as the black album tour and being a part of that last show i was like it would be great if you just like showed up and then i realized that uh beyonce was doing the premiere in london for the renaissance movie which <laughs> anyway and so i was like oh he's probably not gonna come and he'll probably just be there for his birthday and enjoy it with his family which is great i guess the most important thing that I got to see was owning his masters, the records, the the platinumness of it all. The it's the achievement of it, and it's like this man took over a whole public library. Your first library card you most likely got from the Brooklyn Public Library if you got your first library card, you know. Um, which it was so crowded, I couldn't even try to get the book, the, the library card, which I wanted one because you know he had very exclusive ones designed for it. I don't know what it was like for him after you know he planned it out and he set it up and he was like, I want all of these things, and he he got a hold of all of these memorabilia and he said, Yeah, go. Like, I don't know what it felt like the first time he walked through it before the rest of the world walked through it. But I can at least say for me, walking through that was just like, I felt like a little kid all over again listening to, no, I don't even want to say a little kid because I'm, you know, his last album came out with me being a grown adult. But the fact that I have the ability to go back to his first album and listening to that and then um, hearing his most recent album and my brain being able to see all of it and to hear all of it and it's not my life but I can remember what the impact was and where I was in each factor of those albums 
So I can only imagine what it was like for him to like see it and, and really walk through it and like tell stories as he's looking at it and, you know, have things to tell his kids. Like, so this was a crazy point in my life and da, da, da. you know, like even random, random things that were going on in the news that I'm sure he probably, he knows we all know about it. But it's like, even I remember when he was going into a certain trial, you know, and being a kid and everybody kind of running down to the courthouse to see if we could catch him. <laughs> um, and then how excited the city was when everything was done and he was cleared and he didn't have to worry about it no more. Like things like that, that a lot of young people will probably never understand. That that's an experience I don't I don't need to be in the videos and the photos for. You know, I can tell the story about that concert, that last night of the tour at Madison Square Garden, that night I can remember forever. I remember what I was wearing. I remember the Rockaway, the black Rockaway jeans and my black t-shirt, my black Rockaway sneakers and wearing um, a Rockaway uh, short jacket, hoodie with, and, and the sneakers and the hoodie matched perfectly. And I can remember, I was one of those people who walked around Brooklyn a lot. So like I would get off the train and walk home. Like it didn't, I wasn't afraid to walk around Brooklyn. So to like walk home after that concert while listening to the Black Album, even though I just watched him perform all of his music on stage for almost four hours and the show is only supposed to be two. Um, and to, to like, like I know what it was like to walk home and people like, and I ran into a friend of mine who had asked me that night. He was like, oh, where are you coming from? I was like, <laughs> the black album tour what are, you, what are you talking about it had to be like four o'clock in the morning and they was like wait did it just and i'm like nah he gave us an encore and then i went we go went to eat after and i don't want to cry but i feel like i want to get emotional <laughs> i'm such a cancer but all of that came back up and uh I think about when I'm driving across the Brooklyn Bridge and I'm, I know when I'm not, when I'm on that Brooklyn side, cause you know, you, you, you know, you see the, the flag in the middle of the bridge and you know that you meet that halfway point where you're like now going back into, you know, your home and then you see the sign and it says, welcome to Brooklyn. And the first thing that even plays in my head when that song comes on is, um, hello, uh, his song, hello Brooklyn. And, with Lil Wayne and the start of the song has, I can't remember where that sample is from, but it goes, hello, Brooklyn. And then uh, Lil Wayne goes, hello, Brooklyn, right? And it doesn't matter what part of, what time of the year that is, that instantly plays in my head. Always proud to be from Brooklyn, if you can't tell. That energy of the exhibit was just very much like, when we say we built different, it's not even just a, a Brooklyn thing, it's a, it's a New York thing. Basically, the gist of it was, it was everything. I loved it. I'm so mad it ends on Monday. Never get rid of the footage from that experience. The book is going in the box with my newspapers when Barack Obama <laughs> became president um, and my degrees. Thank you, Jay-Z. Thank you, Hove. Thank you, S. Dot. Thank you, Sean Carter. Thank you. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you, Brooklyn Public Library. I wish, I wish I did it more than once. Um, and that's you, you. Once again, you owe me nothing. Okay, see you guys in the morning.